In hopes to promote safe driving, 26 new radar speed feedback and dynamic message signs have been installed along both directions of Fremont Boulevard by the city's contractor. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. They're a lot bigger, so it's definitely helpful for people who you know can't see well and they're automatic, so it, it also works as a radar to help you see what speed you're going. It's going to be improve the driving because people don't need to break because they are paying attention. Some residents believe the new radar signs are going to improve their driving. It will improve my driving for sure. Yes, it will improve my driving. Right now, I'm focused on my meters, you know, how fast I drive. I always drive 25 when I pass the school. Uh, but I think in terms of when I drive and I see them, I see how fast I'm going. I'm a little more, you know, aware and cautious of how fast I'm going. Some see these new radar signs in a positive light. Others are skeptical. I don't feel too passionately about them. I feel like half of them are blocked off by trees and you can't see them until you're like 20 feet away. I really don't think that they would have an impact on our current drivers. Uh, people tend to blow those things off unless there's red and blue flashing lights on him. Uh, probably worse than the driving. I know some people will kind of use it as like a reward system and think like the higher the speed you go, like the cooler it is. Uh, hopefully we get less people struck by vehicles, but I don't think that that'll be the case just because people love to fly around these big streets. The Fremont Boulevard Safe and Smart Corridor Project is funded through an $8.3 million grant given by the Alameda County Transportation Commission. The project is scheduled to be completed by the end of this year and hopes to make the city as safe as it can be. This is Johan Lopez for Ohlone Tri-City News.